They say the perfect piece of sushi is the one that fits into your mouth, and we couldn't agree more. However, there's more to the sushi industry than the perfect bite. Today, we're looking into 15 things you didn't know about sushi. Number 1. From Cat Food to Delicacy in the 1960s, bluefin tuna was considered cat food. Fast forward to present day and tuna sushi is more like a status symbol than a kitty nibble. So valuable, in fact, that in 2013, a bluefin tuna weighing 489 pounds was bought by a Japanese restaurant chain owner named Kiyoshi Kimura for $1.76 million at the world-famous Tsukiji Fish Market. If you break it down, it costs $178 a piece of this sought-after fish. Number 2. Global Demand for Sushi Sushi popularity transferred from migrant Japanese farm and railroad workers in the 19th century to Japan's corporate executives in the 20th. From there, it became a global phenomenon through gastronomic curiosity and growing populations of Japanese expats across the world. Japanese food culture is a strong mix of fusion and borrowed flavors. As early as 1900, sushi rolls included ham and Western-style black pepper. At that time, tuna wasn't a delicacy, and the fatty cuts that are now a luxury were served to cats because the Japanese consumer preferred lean fish. As sushi popularity spread, each region added its own flavor based on local tastes and ingredients. The most well-known is the California roll, consisting of avocado and crab introduced in the 1960s in Los Angeles. Brazilian Japanese sushi makers replaced the avo with mango to meet the needs of the nation's sweet tooth, and by 2003, there were more sushi bars in Sao Paulo than Brazilian barbecues. Number 3. Was Sushi Caught Using Slave Labor? Thanks to the Monterey Bay Aquarium, the people who brought us all the Seafood Watch program, known best for its red, yellow, and green sustainable seafood rating scheme, we will soon know if the conditions of the people who caught the fish was acceptable too. A new seafood slavery risk tool will force corporate seafood manufacturers to reveal the conditions of labor in their supply chain. This is a critical move as the seafood industry is notoriously at risk of forced labor, human trafficking, and hazardous child labor. Be sure to keep an eye on labeling and only buy slavery-free fish. And Alexers, don't forget to subscribe to our channel as we'll be sure to keep you up to date. Number 4. Shrimp is wreaking havoc with sushi. As delicious as shrimp is, the industry is hiding a bunch of dirty practices. Shrimp isn't endangered, but in catching it, many species are becoming endangered in the process. Drag or trawl nets used to gather up shrimp also haul in many other creatures. This is called bycatch, and it's tossed back into the ocean, mostly already dead or dying. For every one pound of shrimp caught, five pounds of other ocean animals are devastated. Humans are also enslaved in the shrimping industry. In fact, Thailand's shrimp industry has come under the spotlight for human slavery. Number 5. Fish availability is on a serious decline. The ocean's resources are stuck in a grab-all-you-can pillage culture. In the last 50 years, the number of overfished species has tripled. Bycatch, which we just mentioned, is one of the leading reasons where non-discriminate trawling leads to tons and tons of unwanted sea life being destroyed for nothing. This includes sea turtles, dolphins, and orca. If this continues, there won't be any fish left for sushi. The World Wildlife Foundation and other organizations are constantly lobbying for stricter controls and education around these practices. As it stands, the Pacific bluefin tuna sits with only 2.6% of its historic population size remaining. Spanish-American marine ecologist and explorer Enrique Sala explains it like this. The ocean is like a checking account where everybody withdraws, but nobody makes a deposit. This is what's happening because of overfishing. Many fisheries have collapsed, and 90% of the large fish, sharks, and tuna and cod are gone. Number 6. What about fish farms? 
So if it's the Wild West out there in the wild, aren't fish farms the way to go? Well, farmed salmon now accounts for 70% of the market, and salmon aquaculture is the world's fastest growing food production system. But tuna and salmon are wild game fish who migrate hundreds of thousands of miles in their life cycle. Tuna can swim up to 80 kilometers an hour, so keeping them penned up means a cruel life for them. Half of all pen tuna die in collisions. Farmed fish flavor is also considered inferior, so sadly the unethical farming and pillaging of fish will continue as our love for exotic sushi fish prevails. The solution is to adopt locally sourced fish onto our sushi menu and only eat sustainable and seasonally harvested fish. Number 7. You're not always eating what you ordered. Even when you've done your homework and are ordering a more sustainable fish to your region, you still might not be getting what you ordered, as reported by the New York Times. A study conducted by UCLA showed that 47% of sushi fish surveyed in Los Angeles was mislabeled. Out of the 43 orders of halibut and 32 orders of red snapper, DNA tests showed the researchers were served a different kind of fish 100% of the time. Number 8. Watch the documentary film Sushi, The Global Catch. In 2004, when sushi lover and filmmaker Mark Hall found a sushi restaurant in Poland, he knew the global love for sushi was universal, but this also posed a question. What does all this sushi culture mean? The Global Catch is a film about the art, love, and scene around sushi, and some of the loves and losses due to the global frenzy for this fish-based food. It's worth a watch and a great expansion on a lot of the topics we've covered in this video. Number 9. What You Didn't Know About Conveyor Belt Sushi the first ever conveyor belt sushi restaurant to open in Japan was in April 1958 in Higashiyasaka. Since then, it's been a way of life for all ages. In a study of sushi eating habits in Japan, 74% of all sushi is eaten at a conveyor belt restaurant, or kaiten sushi as it's locally called, this as reported by Nippon. In 2018, Japan's conveyor belt sushi industry was valued at $6.4 billion. That's over 400% of the entire sushi market. Number 10. The Market Size of Sushi Before COVID, the sushi restaurant sector was a $22.5 billion industry in the United States, with 4,000 sushi establishments across the country. There has been a steady growth year over year since sushi first touched down in North America. There is an expected sales decline due to the global pandemic restrictions, but sushi is still as popular as ever. And if you really want to dive deeply into the world of sushi, we suggest you listen to The Story of Sushi, an unlikely saga of raw fish and rice by Trevor Corson. It's a great listen and you can claim your free download by heading to alox.com slash free book. Number 11. Why is sushi so expensive? Well, Canadian salmon costs a lot to get to Cape Town, for example, to be fresh and ready to serve as sashimi. The long and short is that most of the expense is in the expense of importing exotic fish like salmon and tuna quickly. But that's not all. Becoming a skilled sushi chef takes around 10 years to master, and the personalized production of each roll drives up the price. So if you consider your chef's training took as long as a surgeon's to qualify, you can understand that this isn't your grandma's fish dish. Bless your grandma, we're sure her cooking is great. Number 12. Sushi and Mercury Exposure Yep, it's true. Sadly, sushi can drive up your exposure to mercury. Studies have shown that tuna is the most commonly affected fish, with high to dangerous levels of mercury. Tuna sashimi and tuna rolls contain high levels of mercury and the highest levels of mercury are found in the endangered bluefin tuna. But that's not the worst thing you'll find in your sushi. Number 13. Seafood industry fears hit from Japan's decision to dump nuclear wastewater. Remember that epic first season of The Simpsons about the three-eyed fish caused by nuclear waste dumping? Well, that might not be such a laughing matter anymore. 
In April 2021, as reported by the Global Times, Japan announced a decision to dump radioactive water from its disaster-stricken nuclear complex in Fukushima Prefecture into the ocean. This doesn't just affect Japan because the whole world is connected through the ocean, and that affects all of our sushi, not to mention everything else. And Alexers, afterwards, be sure to watch our video 15 Things You Didn't Know About The Simpsons to see if any of their other predictions came true. Number 14. Sushi Becomes Child's Play Forget puzzle building or knitting while you stream your Netflix marathon. How about sculpting some sushi piece by piece of plastic rice? Tokyo-based plastic model makers Sayuto have created sushi in kit form, complete with realistic-looking plastic fish and 364 grains of rice to lovingly place one by one. If you've got $13 and a lot of patience, you might just have a new hobby on your hands. Number 15. Sushi isn't actually Japanese. Shut the front door! After all this talk of Japanese cuisine, the truth is historians believe that sushi actually traces its roots to the Mokong River region in Southeast Asia. This rice-growing array supported the early days of sushi around 2,000 years ago. Only later on in the 8th century did sushi land in Japan. Well, now you know. So Alexers, what's your take on sustainable fish farms? We'd love to hear your feedback on this topic, so please share your thoughts in the comments section. Now, before you go, we've got a bonus for you. Away with the Big Mac Index, which future billionaire wants to admit they know the price of a McMeal anyway, am I right? Enter Sushinomics, the bougie way to compare everyday items with such prices. Urban Dictionary has this fun tongue-in-cheek word in its cavalry of modern lingo and explains it as a way to ensure you understand the cost in terms of sushi. A movie ticket would cost two sushi price units, a popcorn and soda, three. So before you go to the cinema, you can decide if it's worth an entire sushi dinner. Thanks for watching, Aluxers. Hit us up with a like and don't forget to subscribe. Watches in the world video? Wowza!